we showed a lot of uh, resiliency. There's no doubt about that. Um, I think more importantly, we we stayed together. Um, you know, we we've had our, our share of bumps. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but through that all, I think tonight what we saw was a group of guys that really stay committed to each other, mm -hmm. and that's from staff to the team, and we never really let one mistake carry over to three, four mistakes, and that's, that's, that, was, that was key for us tonight. And especially rebounding after the other night, does that say something about these guys also? It says a lot. I mean, you're talking about coming to, to Detroit, who is undefeated, um, ranked one of the top three teams in the league, very big, a very good, a good inside game and outside game, and we had guys... Kalen Williams in particular, makes some big plays, some big shot, tone ball, big rebound, things that have been eluding us. Um, but this is definitely a huge, huge win for us to start the new year. Now explain to me, is this a three-point shooting team or is it, is it not a three-point shooting Or is it different games, different situations? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's more of a, with this group, uh, just really trying to allow these guys to have some freedom mm -hmm. to, to play. I mean, we've really seen to be uptight second guess it just have some freedom um we definitely have to get the inside game going and as i think it was 30 seconds on the clock we only shot two free throws in the second half and i thought that was incredible for us to still be in the game we, we have to get the ball on the side we can't just say okay we're, we're a three-point shooting team now because the ball went in we, we're capable but we still have to have some inside play but you obviously shot yourself back getting the game with the three we did so, it, 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 so it, the it, weapon is there it, it was the, the way to attack Detroit because of you, you're really not going to pound it inside against their height. Mm -hmm. We're a little smaller. We knew that. So we had to trust that we were going to have to make some shots. Unlike the game before, I thought the, the inside play was pretty evenly matched where we had my opportunities to get it inside and we shot more threes. But it's more about trust, and um, I think we saw a lot of that tonight. Kalen's three at the end of regulation obviously was a, was a good oh. shot. Um, <laughs> Biggest shot of uh, his career so far. Uh, but I thought his, his game and ship, the way he really ran the team and orchestrated some drives down the stretch, some next passes. I mean, they're very long and athletic. They turn you over a lot by shooting passing lanes. And we, that shot at the end was uh, that knuckleball that he shoots. <laughs> it looked good when, he, when it left his hands. I was just hoping it would go in. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys saw the numbers, but you guys started three for 23. Yeah, I saw that. Um, Good, it looked like you had good shots, great, good great looks, looks, great looks, just not making them. Just didn't make them. And that's, that's again, with trust. We, we had the looks that we identified on the scouting report that okay. we were going to have to knock down, and we just had to stay committed to sticking to the plan. In that, that you are going to make those at some point. So yes. that you mean by trust and yeah, stay trust to and stay committed. They, they we, are those are the looks that we're going to have to, that we're going to get, and we have to, we have to trust that we're going to make those. And then they started going in the second half. Yeah, they started going. Yeah, we kind of, uh, before the game, decided that our our motto is going to be fight. You know, we got to keep fighting. Things aren't going your way, and you can't just throw in the towel and give up. And it almost, you don't want to say it, but it almost seemed like that on, on Thursday. Things weren't going our way, and it, it felt like nothing would go our way. But, but, you know, we've talked about just fight, fight, fight. And, and we did it tonight, and obviously it worked out for us. How were you guys able to regroup after a run state? That wasn't a very good game for you guys. Uh, we just, I mean, I think with this group, we can do a pretty good job of putting stuff behind us as long as we, as we keep that. That state of mind where we got we got to keep fighting. We can we can forget about that one and, and go back to being ourselves. But but we got to keep fighting, and you can't ever get loose to to losing. I mean, none of us have ever been on you know losing teams, and it's a it's something that you you don't want to use when you can't use it. I think we're we put it behind us and, and we fought and came out on top. Now, when are you guys a three point shooting team, and when are you not? The other night, I guess it wasn't a good thing, but tonight you obviously shot your way back in. Yeah, three. I mean, we have so many weapons, and we've known that this whole time. So we we feel we've we've kind of been underachieving because uh -huh. we we have the weapons that we feel we need to to be successful, and and it feels like we need to just find the balance between getting it inside, and getting it outside. And I think to start that game, though we were shooting a lot of threes. Myself and Jarab and Kalen were penetrating, mm -hmm. and that kind of leads to eventually those threes have to start going in for us. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and and they did. That's what I was going to ask you. When you start out as bad as you did, you just guys just figure that those are going to go in. At some yeah, point. I mean, we the coaches say you know you can't you can't ever question yourself, and, and when you're a shooter, you just the only way to get out of a slump is to shoot your way out of it. So so we we shot our way out of it, and it worked out for us. What did you think of Kalen's three at the end of the regulation? Uh, it was it was big. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't have won without it, so it was it was nice, and he's he's been due for a couple of those, so so they went in for him, and, and it was nice to see. Oh man, I've I've taken a lot of shots like that, you know, high school, 
uh, hit a big one, top 10 play at Evansville. And coach drew up a play for Tone, obviously he's our best shooter. But I told Lonnie, I said, give him the ball. Tone wasn't there, he threw me the ball, and you know, shot went in, big shot. Feel good when you shot? Oh yeah, I definitely feel good. Thought I was gonna hit that last one after that steal. Yeah, you even had a second look after that, didn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. But just kind of a, just kind of a hope like this, huh? Oh yeah, definitely, just heave it up there. We're, we're going over time, it's yeah. a miracle happens and it happens. What does this mean for you guys, not only battling back in this game, but battling back at the right, after the right state the other night? You know, I mean, Coach said it pretty simple before the game, you know. He's told us everything. We've worked over everything in practice every day. You know, it, it just matters. It comes down to us coming out, fighting, competing, doing what we practice every day. And, you know, tonight was different. It was like we just wanted to fight, fight, fight. No matter what adversity we faced, we kept fighting. You know, we weren't going to come out here with a loss. You know, even if it takes a shot with one second left, that's a game of basketball. That's sports. So, you know, we kept fighting. Bench was great. We had uh, three starters with two fouls early. Bench picked us up. You know, we just played as a team. When when do you guys decide when the three point shot is going to be a weapon and what games and what games it's not? Tonight, you obviously shot your way back into it. The other night, I guess the three point shot wasn't wasn't so good. I mean, that's 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 sports. So it's, you know, that's basketball. You see teams like that all the time. Uh, you know, if one guy's feeling it, teams or your, your team feeds off of them. But when you got guys like Tony Meyer, uh, Tone. Gerard McCullum, you know, Lonnie Bo, you can't not shoot threes just because you're not making them. You know, you're a great three-point shooter. You work on it every day. You knock them down. It's just, you know, shot didn't fall that time. So, you know, I got a little frustrated at the beginning of the game. We shot a lot of threes, digging ourselves in the hole. And we got a guy like Anthony Hill who we got to start getting the ball more, you know. He played great defense tonight, and he helped us out a lot. We got to get him a lot of touches, but, you know, we, we picked it up, and we stayed with those shots, and we knocked them down in the second half. For you guys started out, I think it was like three for twenty-two or something like that. Yeah. Are you, are you guys thinking those are going to go start going in at some point? Uh, I mean, look at the guys shooting them. You know, yeah. they've been making them all year long. It could be like South Dakota State. You know, it could be like Marquette. Any other game, it's, yeah. it's it's really not something that we think about. You know, this game we're not going to shoot any threes. No, we're going out to play. We're going out to execute how we do every day and just trying to get the wins. It's going to be a great feeling when when you're seeing everybody shooting and they're making them and the threes are falling. Oh, yeah, especially for me because, you know, you know when you make a great move and you got great shooters on the perimeter. So, you know, it picks you up a lot more when you hit a guy and he makes a three because, you know, he's feeling good and confident. Yeah. You know, I love getting guys shots. So, you know, it's kind of hard when they're not making shots. But, you know, we fought second half and, man, what a second half. Yeah.